At this point we can create our own role, we can install a third party role and we can run a playbook which will make use of all these roles to configure a remote system in any way that we wish. There's a couple of extra Ansible Galaxy commands which may come in useful for you, one more than the other when using Docker. The first is Ansible Galaxy list which will list out all the installed roles both first and third party. This is going to come in pretty handy in a minute. Now, Ansible Galaxy also gives us the remove role command which isn't as important when using Docker but I'm going to add it in for completeness anyway. I say it's not that important because we can just rmrf against any specific role and the next time that we run docker it's going to be none the wiser. Though you could use this command if you wish but the outcome will be exactly the same as far as I'm aware. Far more useful to us at this point is the make list underscore roles command which is going to give us some really useful output which we can use to create a file called requirements.yaml. And what this is going to do is going to kind of work in a way similar to compose a JSON or package JSON and then we can use this file to install all our third party requirements. So I'm going to take the output of the make list role command, I'm going to paste it into requirements.yaml and then I'm going to format it in such a way that requirements.yaml should be formatted which is as a YAML file. So start with the three dashes at the top and then for each key value pair I'm going to set up a source key which is the name of the role and the version which is the exact version string that we just saw when running make list roles and this is important as if it's got a v in front of it then it needs the v in front of it and so on. I'm going to create another make file entry for this it's a little bit horrible how we have an install role singular and an install roles plural command I always find stuff like that a little bit confusing I can't think of a better way around this though and what this is going to do is when we run that make install underscore roles command is it's going to install any third party roles which we've listed in our requirements.yaml file. So in this way we can move from this computer to any other computer or we can have team members involved and they're all going to end up with those very specific requirements of your roles for your project.